Hi everybody, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you my go-to hairstyle when I'm not sure what I want to do with my hair and I haven't got a lot of time, I always go to this technique. It's very easy, very simple. What you're going to need is you're going to need a brush, you're going to need a straightening iron, I've got one from GHD here, and you're going to need a sectioning clip. I've um, basically washed and let my hair dry naturally but I have of course got some heat protection um, serum on here and I've got a styling lotion on. I'm going to start by splitting the hair into uh, two sides so all the way down the back I've got the two sides as well and I'm going to start with the front section here. I'm going to take a small piece underneath Make sure that it's not too thick. Section the upper hair out of the way. And then what you're aiming for is you're aiming for a soft wave coming through the hair in this direction. And you're going to use your straightening iron to basically hold that into place. So you can see I'm pushing the hair back in towards my head so that I've got this bend coming in. I'm going to put the flat iron in and I'm tapping that wave and then when I get to the end of the wave I move my fingers down and I push the next wave in and tap it in and then down and push the next wave in push the next wave in until you get to the bottom so you can see you get this big S wave coming all the way through the hair with that. So let's take another section. The thinner the section is, the curlier it will be, but it'll also be easier for you to um, actually control. So if your section is too thick, you won't be able to control it. And you can see I'm just taking random sections here. I'm not taking any precise section. see the wave coming through here. Make sure you brush each section through, you don't want any knots in there. If you've got any knots in then you're going to be warming the knots up as well and it's going to make the hair frizzy. So. I especially like this technique for uh, for the front of my hair because I have a, a cow's lick that always shoots up here. So um, so why I like this is because I can control the cow's lick. I can make sure that it stays fairly flat here, and I can put the bend in so that it just opens up around my eyebrow. So I measure that up. Just smooth out my cow's lick a little bit check where the, the bend's going to be. The first one in here. Down to the bottom. Then you've got that nice wave all the way through. And you can see I'm not touching these now, I'm just letting them cool down for a second before I start running my fingers through it. So don't start putting your fingers through until you know it's all completely cooled down. Let's do the next side. So you can see from there, it's a great way to control the front part of your hair because you can basically aim to have it opening at the same place, closing at the same place, and opening at the same place again. So it sits pretty, pretty spot on. Um, so once you've done the two sides, then go around to the back. So 
So now these front sections have cooled down, I can just basically run my fingers through them to separate them out. And that's it, a very soft natural wave all the way through the hair. One of the easiest waves that you're gonna be able to put in your hair once you get used to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please press the red button up above, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.